Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. My name's Lauren, if you're new, this is my boyfriend, Christian. We're doing a little bit of a switch up of a video. I thought it'd be super fun to go out and try all of the Dunkin' and Starbucks pumpkin flavored items and kind of compare them for you. And I'm dragging my boyfriend, Christian, along for the ride as well. And um, we'll both be taste testing all of the items and then comparing and probably rating at the end but i thought it'd be really fun to go and try because i've never tried any of the dunkin donuts pumpkin flavored items and i've only tried a few of the starbucks ones but none of the food items so i'm really excited so i hope you guys enjoy this video we're gonna head to starbucks first and then dunkin after and then try them together so Let's head to Starbucks. Yep. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. You too. Thank you. You too. We're gonna try the drinks first and then the food. So we're gonna try the Dunkin'. We got the pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks and then the pumpkin spice latte from Dunkin and then the pumpkin cream cold brew from each location as well So let's try the pumpkin spice latte from Dunkin first Is there pumpkin spice in there? I don't taste any pumpkin spice in there. Is it hot? You gotta do a full review, honey, when you do this. Oh, okay, my bad. I don't drink any coffee, FYI. No, you do. No, I don't. I have an espresso shot. Like random. Yeah, he has an espresso shot right. sometimes before the gym. Alright, traditional coffee smell. Foamy. I'm like... <laughs> Very foamy. I don't think they even saw that. Alright, let's get it. Let's get it. First taste. One sip, everyone knows the rules. It just tastes Absolutely like... no pumpkin taste at all. Tastes like a coffee with milk. Yeah, it doesn't even taste like there's any pumpkin. Nothing in there. Spice Give in that there. another whirl. Go ahead. Lid off. Let me do one more. Ew. That's coffee with cream. Yeah, it's coffee with cream, but it says. Maybe it's just a light. Uh, I don't know. It says two pumpkin light, swirls. Ugh. It doesn't even taste like pumpkin at all. But <clears throat> now we're going to try the Starbucks one. That's how it's supposed to taste. That's how it's supposed to taste. All right. Tastes really good. These drinks are making me hot. <laughs> the aroma is instant gratification of pumpkin. Just yeah, it smells like a that. pumpkin patch Honestly, right when you do it. It's fall. You're getting that right there. You the see fall. that on the top? Yep. It's all pumpkin. Uh -huh. It's like a fall scented candle. <laughs> Stepping foot into home oh, goods. Whoa, that's a flavor overload. I definitely favor the pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks over the Dunkin' one because this just tastes like a regular cup of coffee. That's really bad for your teeth. What are you? What are your thoughts? You favor the Starbucks one over? Yeah, more more pumpkin flavor for sure in the Starbucks. Dunkin' tastes like coffee and milk. Tongue's a little burnt from that last swirl there. Hopefully it doesn't uh, affect the, the next taste. This Duncan is, we're doing a scale of 1 to 10 here, my rating. This Duncan gets probably a 3.2 out of 10. For uh, the pumpkin. I mean, it's a good, just like regular coffee, but there's just no pumpkin spice. I'm going to go 3.2 out of 10 on that. Didn't have any pumpkin taste. This is going to get a 7.2. Um, if you're into pumpkin, it's pretty good. Um, sweet though, very sugary. Very, very, very sweet. All if, right. Oh yeah, I feel like I probably rate around the same. Okay, we'll do the Dunkin' um, Pumpkin Cream Cold Brew next. Looks like ice cream on top. I feel like it looks like ice cream on top, right? Looks good. What the hell? That's not what I was expecting. Is it good? No. You'll, you'll see what I'm talking about when you All take right. a set. Give it a little swirl. You get a very, you get a pumpkin, a pumpkin like spice scent. Yeah. Not as, not as prominent as this one, but let's see what we got. You see what I mean? 
<laughs> you see what I mean? It's so weird. <sighs> Tastes like cough medicine. It says brown sugar cinnamon syrup. Tastes like cough medicine. It, like I really just, this is a zero. It's either a 10 or a zero for the record. <laughs> Honestly. It's really, it's not good. It's not. I'm like, not gonna read it until I try that one. Though. Yeah. She's just already dump jumping in, didn't even introduce the, the, the drink. This is a pumpkin cream cold brew. We've got two pumpkin spice lattes and two <laughs> pumpkin cream cold brews. All right, what do we from... got? They just nail it. They nail it. Okay. And I had high hopes for Duncan. All I right, really we did. got a very, very creamy pumpkin spice top here. We'll pop this off, we'll get a, we'll get a smell. Whoa, oh. very creamy. Very delish. Oozing off just the cream. Okay. Not very much on the nose there. Very, very light smell of pumpkin, to be honest. Not as prominent as the others. There we go. They just kind of nail it. It's better. I mean, what it's, do you it's just very light. Mm. <clears throat> Again, it's pretty sweet. It's definitely got the pumpkin flavor. I mean, I think everyone's favorite is the these, pumpkin. These these really cover. don't compare. This is just it has a very cough syrup. Yeah. Doesn't taste medicine-y. Just really Ugh. weird. It's so weird. It's honestly horrid. This is this yeah. is this is awful. I couldn't agree more. This is this is this is good if this is what you're looking for. I mean, Again, I think I, I think a lot of the never viewers order any that of this stuff. ordered this. They People order like this. the pumpkin cream cold brew from Starbucks a lot. I think it's popular. This gets, uh, I mean, it's very sweet if you like that type of stuff. Yeah. 7.7. I'll go 7.7. .7. This is gonna go... Zero. Zero. This was really bad. It was. There's. I would never order that. Like, if I... So 2.7. I literally, it'll never be ordered again, ever. I yeah. would never want to try this never, again. Never, never. Just sip it. Never. Excuse From, me. Ugh. Okay, so we're gonna start with Duncan first. We got, oh, they mixed them together. Look at that cough medicine taste in there. It's like Robitussin. <laughs> uh, we're gonna try Duncan first. We got a pumpkin. I'm gonna go first. Okay, wait, wait, pull out some napkins. We got the pumpkin. Um, Good old Chipotle napkins. <laughs> we got a pumpkin All right. donut and a pumpkin muffin. All right, we'll try the muffin first. Okay, so sh very show flaky. them what it looks like. All right. Looks like that. Very, this is Duncan. Very flaky. All right, what is this, pumpkin muffin? Yeah. All right, pumpkin muffin. So you gotta just, just right from the top. Full you have flavor. to do a full to get the bottom and the top. One bite, here we go. Mm -hmm. Going everywhere. <laughs> it's very dry. <laughs> you have that powder on your nose. <laughs> yeah, it's all over your face, honey. <laughs> we didn't do the smell test. It's good. It smells, it's it's not bad, but it's very, the bottom is very, very pumpkin-y. I thought it was, it was pretty moist. No, it, it. It's all over your face. It's very, um, no, no, it's moist. The, the bottom part is moist. I shouldn't have said it was very dry. What's dry is this bread, this, this crumb yeah. on the top. This is very, very moist inside here. The issue is, is it's very, very clay, like, f tasting. Kind of tastes like uh, Play-Doh. Not something I'd personally ever order. There's a pumpkin muffin at Starbucks too. So should we just go ahead and try that? Yeah, let's try the pumpkin muffin at Starbucks. Um, This is the pumpkin cream cheese muffin from Starbucks. Yeah. Are you gonna try it first? Okay, just a very pumpkin. I like how it kind doesn't of look messy. Pastry smell. We're gonna do a, just a peel here. Gorgeous. Looks, looks pretty pretty good, pretty standard. Pumpkin seed on top. Yeah. Yep. All right. Center. Here we go. <laughs> nice, soft, yet lightly hardened top to go into an extremely moist base. That cream cheese icing in the middle there really just takes this to a whole nother level. It's an incredible touch. This is a top of the notch pastry, I will say. Mm -hmm. He's loving that. That's a good muffin. Yeah, it, it was pretty good. I do like the, 
the not, Dunkin' Donuts one, but that one's so messy. Not, this one's like clean. This one has no real aftertaste of like silly, like silly putty. You think that's what Dunkin' does? That's some clay aftertones. <clears throat> this is good. This is this is pretty much top tier when it comes to pumpkin muffin. We're gonna go. This is gonna be an 8.1. Very good. That's Very good, good for him. I would have he this. Never I would have this like again. I would definitely eat this again. So would I. Um, the Dunkin' Donuts one. Again, it was it was okay. I probably would never eat it again. 6.2 on that. So we're gonna do the pumpkin donut next. Do you want to try it first or do you want me to? Okay. That's the last um, item. I mean, from. you can just look in this bag. The crumbs from that muffin are just <gasps> sitting at the bottom. Um, All right. There's also pumpkin donut holes from Dunkin' as well. It smells like a donut. It's got a, a nice glaze on the outside. It looks like a pumpkin, obviously a pumpkin uh, dough with like a nice glaze outside. So here we go. You hate it? It's dry. It's like the desert. It's not bad. I'm more of a Krispy Kreme donut person. <laughs> it's not bad. Standard as it gets. Hint of pumpkin. Maybe like pumpkin, a nutmeg. It's a pumpkin glazed donut. It's a pumpkin donut. Yeah. Standard as it gets. If you enjoy pumpkin, it's good. And it reminds me of the old fashioned donut at Dunkin' Donuts. Okay. You know what I'm talking about? The yeah. old fashioned one that doesn't really have any. It's like kind of like a. Yeah. It's exactly that. The hint of pumpkin and a slight glaze. Yeah. Not bad. Love it. Six point seven. Okay, the last two items that we got are from Starbucks. I'm on pumpkin overload right now. So we got the pumpkin and pepita loaf. Let's take this. You want to try it first? This thing has got like. It's dense. This is very dense. All right, spongy, very like. I mean, look at the thickness of this thing. And it feels heavy and dense, like a sponge. All right, here we go. It's hearty. I get the, the muffin. This is the perfect thing to get. And if you need like a breakfast pastry that you don't want like a savory like egg or something like that, you kind of want like a sweet breakfast pastry and you don't, like don't want anything else with it, so you would get like a coffee in this. Cause it's so heavy that it'll fill you up if you eat this whole thing you'll be full till dinner <laughs> you don't even need lunch after this this thing is so heavy this thing weighs two pounds i'm not even kidding this thing so it's not light by any means like you can't just be like yeah you know let me get a sausage egg and cheese croissant yeah with that yeah and then like a, a hash brown and then get this as a dessert with your coffee i mean you'll literally you're, you're full for like four days after that this thing is so heavy i don't even think you're gonna have room for the coffee <laughs> Or you're gonna need it though, because you need something to wash it down. <laughs> very, very moist. It's moist. It's pretty moist. Yeah. Was... I really let you take take a, the lead on describing these and then, um, items because he just is so descriptive and just understands. Seven point three. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Just heavy. It is really heavy. It's really heavy. So the last item. <laughs> you're a mess. The last thing that we got is the pumpkin scone. Love. Okay, you want to try it first? We got some icing over the top. It looks like a piece of cheddar cheese, like white cheddar, melted over. No. We got a piece of American on the back here, pressed in. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Hard as a rock. Don't chip your teeth. I don't. I've never really had anything like this. I've never had a scone. I don't think before. Like, has that very artificial pumpkin scent. Yeah. Again, I don't know what to expect here. This is definitely not something I'd ever really order, but we'll see how it tastes. So, here we go. <laughs> I don't really like it. So, I wish it was softer, but is that how scones are? I don't know. <laughs> Icing is very hard crunchy it's very it's very it's hard as it's a hard shell with a soft inside yeah um it's good i think that like first of all like this is so much sweet stuff that i put in my i don't even think that i can really process it to be honest because like, oh, all the shit i've had <laughs> i know i feel like i'm on a sugar rush right now the, the the icing is super hard like i said the inside's good 
it's actually still kind of hard on the inside. It's not more. It's not a moist thing. It's more of like a. I really just don't think scones are supposed to be moist. like soft. Yeah, I so, think they're supposed to be hard. My takeaway is it's not like again, it's not something I'd ever eat. Um, and I just don't think I'd ever order it again. It's, it's, it's. I mean, it's fine. I don't really have much to say about this thing. Five, <laughs> five point four. I think my top two were from Starbucks. It's the pumpkin cream um, cheese muffin, and then the pumpkin cream cold brew. I feel like you can't go wrong. Favorite pastry was the the muffin with the cream fit center. Yeah, from Starbucks. But this wasn't like this that wasn't was probably me. something that I rate last, along I'll never, with the. I'll never. Oh my god. It's literally horrible. I would pass on the pumpkin cream cold brew from Dunkin'. I would just get like a iced coffee or a cold brew with like pumpkin swirl in it because they add some brown sugar cinnamon syrup to it and I really think that just takes away from the drink as a whole. So we're probably on the same page with which one tastes good and which one we like best, which is the pumpkin cream cold brew and then the pumpkin cream cheese muffin, both from Starbucks. And then I think we rate the pumpkin cream cold brew from Dunkin' really like last on our list of things we're gonna go ahead and end off this video here i hope you enjoyed christian's commentary on each item and his descriptions so thank you guys so much for watching make sure you're subscribed and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys